I know I haven't uploaded videos for a long time but uh, right now I'm going to start a new project uh, this time I'm making something a little different from can okay, not little different completely different from a crossbow this time I want to make a slight projector so I I have drawn up some diagrams or some pictures to help me on the way I'll show you my plans here and then we'll just get started on the project okay here you can see the plans for the projector this is how it's going to look from the top this is the main bulb which uh, gives out all the light and this is a fan this fan is meant to just keep cooling the box so that it doesn't get too hot inside because it gets too hot the box may even burn this is the main switch to switch switch on the light this is uh, I think this is called a choke what it does is it converts 250 volts to 12 volts so that the bulb can tolerate it I don't know how to power the fan from this because the fan can only tolerate about uh, can tolerate the voltage from the battery and each battery is about 1.5 volts and this gives out 12 volts so I decided not to do it I decided to just power the fan out of the batteries uh, so the fan is like a separate unit on its own uh, uh, this is the motor and it's powered by these by two AA batteries and this is the switch for the motor so we gotta first turn the light on and then we gotta turn the fan on so that the fan keeps cooling the bulb here are the drawings of some of the pieces that we're gonna use okay so this is the front view of the projector this is a slot where you can fit the slide through the slide is nothing but the picture which is going to be projected on the wall and these four little circles are holes uh, and through these holes there will be four rods which will be moving the lens front and back the lens is going to be attached from the outside it's going to be a separate piece attached to the four rods and the lens can be separately moved front and back which will allow you to focus the picture to the wall and here are two other pieces here you can see the piece for the fan and the motor this is for the fan so this piece here this square that's nothing but this piece from the from from a side view that's from this direction so I've made sure the radius is big enough so that the fan can easily fit in which is this you can see that it easily fits in the circle and this piece is for the motor now this is the motor you can see it has a shape that's curved on the right and left and flat on the top and bottom I have drawn the same shape over here and now all this is open this is to allow air to flow in into the box from the outside even this side this portion is open this is also to allow the air flow okay now this is the back portion of the projector which would be this portion so this is the piece where the bulb gets attached to now if the projector was like this and you were to go inside and look at it from in this direction this is how the back piece would be now this is not going to be visible from the front of the bulb at the inside of the box but it will be a kind of a canal at the back for the wire to go through the wire that connects to the socket that wire would go through this uh, canal like region or tube like region and it would come out through the square hole over here through that square hole it will come out from here it will connect to the switch then connect to one part of this choke come out of the other part and, the wi and that wire will go down inside the box and will go through this hole and the wire just goes out and connects to the main plug point so the bulb will be attached over here this rectangle is actually a hole through this entire piece for the wire to go from the back of the socket and this piece will be attached to the back of the projector over here okay so these are the pieces to make the slot for which the slide is going through which the slide is going to enter the slide is basically the picture that you want to project on the wall 
Uh, so these are the pieces that I'm going to use. Uh, these, these three strips are going to go behind these in order to make create a spacing so that the slide can be put through. Uh, so I'm going to have to make these uh, quite thick so that there's enough space. And this is the shape of the entire slide. This is the hole through which the picture will be sitting in and the light will be projecting through this. This hole is in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. That's the ratio between the width of the hole, between the length of the hole and the breadth of the hole. The length and this height. It's in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. This is the length which is 6 centimeters and this is the height or the breadth which is 4.5 centimeters. That's 4 that's the ratio is 4 is to 3. So this will be put on the front of the projector like this. So these are all the pieces which are gonna make the projector. 